Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. In this video we are starting off with the bare clean face. Um, I actually have no product at all on my face and I figured today I do kind of like a natural no makeup makeup type look. Talk you guys through what I do when I want to look a little bit presentable but not overly done. So there's kind of like three different lanyes, I guess you could say. There's like what I'm going to show you guys today and then there's the like natural full glam look that I usually do quite a bit often on my, on my channel because you guys love those looks. And then there's like full glam, cut crease, full like contoured brows like everything is like super glam so there's like three different lines that you can get and i'm going to show you well four because this is this is one this is me and my natural habitat <laughs> but i'm going to show you guys one of the four and um we'll just call this like the um everyday glam look so if you guys are interested in seeing how i go from this to looking a little bit better just a little bit more presentable not really as like <sighs> then keep on watching so first one I'm going to do is take the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. This is the one with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. And I'm just going to do like a light dusting on my skin um, just to kind of refresh it a little bit. Not like an extremely necessary step, but if you have a little bit more drier skin, I do recommend prepping your skin with like moisturizer, facial spray, whatever it may be, and then going in with your foundation or concealer, whatever you're going to do to put on your skin. Um, I am, however, going to take this Decleroy, Decleroy, I think it is. It's a um, hydrating oil serum. I got this last year when I went to New York with um, Makeup.com and I really, really, really love this. If you are very, 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 very dry, this is going to be a really good hydrating serum for your skin. But I'm just going to put just a nice little bit on my skin just to hydrate it because I've been a little dry, especially in my forehead. My forehead is always, always dry. And just a little hydration goes a long way on the skin. And then I'm just going to rub the rest on my hands because this stuff smells so good. It smells so, so good. But I am going to go in with brows. I'm going to lightly fill them in. And I'm going to first go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is one of my favorite brow pencils ever but i'm just gonna line the bottom half of it and kind of lightly feather it and then i'm gonna set that down but like i don't want to do too much with this brow because like i mentioned this is kind of a little bit more of a natural look something like if you're picking up the kids or you know going to the grocery store even though i go to the grocery store looking a mess <laughs> Uh, the doctor's office because you know your mom always well, i don't know about y'all but my mom my nana always like made sure that we looked like halfway decent at the doctor's office couldn't be going to nobody's doctor looking a mess so just like a light light little dusting as you can kind of see it just frames the bottom of the brow and just fills it in a little bit just to give it a little bit of definition to it Okay, so now I'm going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is like a fiber eyebrow gel. If you don't want to go in with a brow pencil, you could just take this eyebrow gel and just brush it through. And this will just give the appearance of your brows looking a little bit more full, like filled in than they are. If you're one of those women that don't have time to do their brows or just don't feel like it, this is a really, really, really great product. I've been using this product Oh my gosh, since 2015, I've been using this product and it is one of my favorite brow gel product type things, but I'm just brushing the hairs upward so that way it looks a little bit fuller and then I'll just like smooth them over a little bit so that way they look a little fuller, natural looking. So I have two different concealers that I would normally use. The one that I really like the most is the Bye Bye Breakout. It's by It Cosmetics and it's for oily slash acne prone skin. And this is in the shade Deep. And I don't really have too um, many problematic areas anymore. I used to have a lot of dark spots 
things like that that I would use this to kind of spot correct, but more so like underneath of my eyes and over my brow or over my eyes, like my eye, excuse me, my eye area is my problematic area, but everywhere else I don't really have too many product problems down on my jaw and then I'm just gonna blend it out with this sponge and just kind of make sure that everything is nice and blended and I haven't been getting a lot of sleep so this will help a little bit and especially cancel out the darkness on my eyes because baby the darkness on my eyes is a mess like I have to use oh I have to use a really 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 full coverage concealer to get rid of that like dark circle I am gonna take just a tiny bit of this concealer from uh, Too Faced it's the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut. So, very similar to the shade that I just used, just a little bit lighter, just to highlight, just a tiny, teensy weensy little bit. And I'm gonna hit my chin and my cupid bow and just make sure to blend all of this in. It may seem like a lot, but literally, when I'm doing this on my own, like, it's like. Boom, bam, thank you, ma'am, and like, I'm done. You know, it's like very, very, very quick and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna take this uh, pressed powder, the ColourPop No Filter Press Powder, and I probably should use the powder brush, but I washed it last, okay. I'm gonna use this Jaclyn Hill JH01 brush and just swirl this around and use this to set everything. Because although we are using like a concealer and it's pretty close to our skin, we still want to make sure that we set it down. And you can put this all over. It's a very sheer powder. So dusting this all over. It's going to give a nice, kind of flawless appearance. Now just a teensy bit of blush. This is a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Cruel Intention Intentions. And just a little. I don't go crazy with blush. Because blush is like... Do I really need it? But you need it, you know? And then lastly for the face, I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier um, Face Illuminator in Seduction. Now this highlighter is really, really, really like light and natural looking. Like it doesn't give like that blinding highlight, but it gives enough to where if you turn your face, you have a little bit of highlight. And I'm using a JH09 brush. Is my mic cut out but I'm using the Winky Lux um, pH transforming lip balm and then I'm gonna go in with the Desi Katie lip gloss and over the top just to go over that the Winky Lux gave my lips like a little bit of a pink hue and this is just like a regular gloss and then I'm gonna use the Rimmel London wonderfully real mascara it has been like an obsession of mine I've been loving using this mascara it's it has a really great comb and it separates my lashes really well so I'm just gonna apply that but I'm not sure what will happen with my microphone so hence the voiceover I apologize about that but I just was mentioning how usually I'll apply just a regular lip gloss or a chapstick because I'm pretty basic so <laughs> but for the sake of this video I just used a gloss um, but yes that's it Okay, you guys, I'm not one to do my hair, honestly, so it, it would most likely stay just like this. And I would literally, I need to detangle my hair so bad, but I would literally just like run to the doctor, 
run wherever I gotta go, wherever I need to look a little bit presentable and just be done with it. But like, as you can see, this highlight is just, just enough. It's not over the top, overly blinding. The blush just gives a nice little amount of lip, um, cheek color. The lip just gives a little bit of the lip. It just gives it a little bit more of a overall kind of like, like, like I tried to put a little bit of effort in this, but I didn't really. So I hope my, I hope my mic didn't turn off at the, oh, my mic has been like screwing with me ever since I changed it to my blue Yeti mic. It's been like, I have to have my computer on. So my computer's like right here and I have to have it on in order for it to have connection. And if I like tap the core, like the, the microphone cord that connects to my camera, like sometimes it'll have static issues. So it's like, I can't win for losing. What is this doing right here? And that, and that, and that, like. All right, you guys, that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a little bit of a tip or a trick or something like that um yeah i'm really hoping so i'm really hoping that it helped some way somehow if it did please give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe before you go um let me know how you run out the door whether you have four sides to your your makeup self or one or two whatever it may be i'd love to know it my nose is running it's time for me to take a bit of drill or melatonin and go to bed i love you all so much thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon Bye.